Hi guys, my name is Victor. Welcome to my DIY time channel. Here I show how to fix various issues on Toyota, Lexus and Scion cars. And if you have one of those brands, be sure to subscribe. You may find the information that I post here very helpful if you like fixing your car by yourself. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix airbag off warning light in your car. Step 1. Scan your car for error codes using a diagnostic tool. I personally used TechStream Diagnostic Scanner and it worked pretty well. I've got the error code B1795, which stands for Occupant Classification ECU Malfunction. This gives me a very good starting point when looking for the fix of this airbag warning light. Which brings me to the troubleshooting step number two, do your research. You can look for the ways to fix this problem online by going to Google, car forums, watching YouTube videos. Also in addition to that, I like to buy repair manuals for all of the cars that I own. A good factory repair manual will give you all of the necessary steps needed for troubleshooting any particular issue. If you'd like to know where I get the best repair manuals for my Toyota and Lexus cars, check out the link on the screen or in the description area below. So what I found is that the occupant classification ECU is a tiny computer located under the passenger seat and it's responsible for determining the weight of the person sitting in the passenger seat. If that person is a child and the weight is below certain threshold, the ECU will disable the passenger airbag to prevent injuries. If that person is adult, the ECU will activate the passenger airbag. But in my case, as we already found out, this ECU was malfunctioning and the airbag off warning light was constantly illuminated on the dashboard. Step 3. Fix the problem. To fix the problem, I refer to the airbag system section in my repair manual. The very first suggestion was to erase the diagnostic trouble codes, then turn off the car, turn it back on and wait for 10 seconds, and then scan for error codes again. If the error codes are gone, great, you're done. If not, move on to the troubleshooting step number two. I tried erasing the error code, but it didn't fix the problem. The second suggestion in the repair manual was to replace the occupant classification ECU. It also recommends saving all of the data from the old ECU using Intelligent Tester and uploading all of the data to the new ECU after the replacement. I didn't really do that step because I think it applies when you're installing a brand new ECU that you bought from the dealer that doesn't have any information on it yet. But instead I bought a used ECU with the same exact part number and fortunately after installing it, it worked just fine without having to reprogram it. To remove the old ECU, first you'll need to take out the passenger seat. It's held in place by four 14mm bolts. Also, it's recommended to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery and wait for at least 90 seconds before disconnecting the ECU. The ECU is held in place by two 8mm nuts. Once you take out the occupant classification ECU, try to find the same exact part number online to buy a replacement. Once again, if you want to know where to buy that, link will be in the description. I personally went with the used one, because first of all it cost a fraction of the cost of the new one, and second, even though it was used, it worked just as good as a new one. Step 4. Test the fix. After the installation, I reassembled everything and tested the ECU. Both the warning light and the diagnostic trouble codes were gone. Alright, that pretty much sums up the general approach how to fix airbag warning light in your car. I hope this video was informational and helpful, and if so, please give it a like. 
Thank you for watching and have a nice day.